Welcome to class number 18, Old Testament, Sinai legislation, the Decalogue, the Golden Calf, and the Tabernacle of Moses, taken from Exodus chapters 19 to 40. When the Jews came to Mount Sinai, they encamped at the foot, and Moses ascended the mountain. The Lord told him that he wanted to make a covenant with Israel and ordered everyone to fast for three days. On the fiftieth day, after the Jews had left Egypt, the people saw lightning on the top of the mountain, and the Lord dictated the Ten Commandments to Moses. One the God of the Jews is the Lord, Yahweh. May they have no other gods. Two, it is forbidden to make images and worship them. Three, it is forbidden to take the name of Yahweh in vain. Four, the Sabbath should be dedicated to the Lord. Five, one must honor his parents. And then six to ten, it is forbidden to to kill, to commit adultery, to steal, to slander, to wish someone else's property. The prohibition of wishes confirms the divine origin of the Decalogue, because no legislator can prohibit what he cannot control. The Lord also gave the laws of social relations, in chapters 21 to 23. For example, an eye for an eye, 30 pieces of silver for the life of a slave. The laws established justice and equality for all, including foreigners, in civil matters. Unlike other peoples, Jews should have neither castes nor classes, except for the clergy. Slavery, blood feuds, divorce, although not abolished, but were limited. Moses gave the law of God to the Jews, and they promised to fulfill everything. Moses made a sacrifice, sprinkling people with blood, so the Old Testament was established. Previous covenants were made by God with individuals, Noah, Abraham. From people, faith in God and a good conscience were required. The covenant in Sinai was concluded with an entire nation in order to provide a cultural environment for God's incarnation. That's why it is so detailed. Having entrusted the people to Aaron, Moses and Joshua at the command of God again ascended the holy mountain. There they fasted for 40 days, having received from the Lord a detailed plan of the marching temple, Moses' tabernacle, and also the two stone tablets on which the Ten Commandments were written by God. Meanwhile, the Jews were worried that Moses had disappeared. They asked Aaron to make a God for them, like those they knew in Egypt. Aaron ordered their gold earrings to be brought to him and cast a calf out of them the people offered sacrifices to the idol and held a feast, saying, This is the God who brought us out of Egypt. Only Levites did not participate in this. The Lord ordered Moses to immediately descend from the mountain. He wanted to exterminate the Jews and start a new nation from Moses. But Moses begged him for mercy. When Moses came down from the mountain, he saw the idol 
and broke the tablets out of anger. He burned the golden calf and ordered the Levites to punish the idolaters. 3,000 people were killed. Then Moses again went up to Sinai and prayed to the Lord for the people. Forgive them. And if not, then blot me out of your book as well. The Lord forgave and again wrote the Ten Commandments on two tablets and showed his glory to Moses from behind. Since a, a person cannot see the face of God and stay alive. When Moses returned to the people, his face shone so that he, he had to cover it when he addressed the people. The tabernacle was built. People donated their jewelry and other materials to it. The tabernacle is a courtyard measuring 50 by 25 meters, fenced with posts and covered with fabric. In the courtyard, there was a wash basin and an altar for burnt offerings. Upholstered, it was upholstered with brass. That's the burnt offerings altar. There was a tent at the back of the courtyard. It was a sanctuary and a holy of holies, separated by a veil. In the sanctuary, there was a gilded altar for burning incense, a seven candle holder, and a table with loaves that were replaced every Saturday. Only priests could enter it. The Holy of Holies symbolized the spiritual heaven, and only the high priest could enter there once a year to sprinkle blood. There was the main shrine, the Ark of the Covenant, with cherubim on a golden lid. It was the image of the throne of God. Moses, at the command of God, put the tables, the tablets, in the Ark and put a vessel with manna in front of it, and God spoke to Moses from the lid of the ark. After the construction was completed, Moses consecrated the tabernacle, anointing it with oil. The tabernacle became a symbol of God's presence among the people of Israel. It was overshadowed by a cloud and filled with the glory of the Lord. The tabernacle is a prototype of the Church of Christ. The wash basin at the entrance of the holy place formed the baptismal font and the altar Golgotha. The tabernacle served as a model for the Jewish temple and Christian churches in which the sanctuary became an altar the Holy of Holies, a high place, and the altar of the table of oblation, the ark, a tabernacle for the pre-sanctified gifts in which the body of Christ is instead of manna. The images of cherubim became icons. The tablets became the gospel and the table with the loaves of the offering became the altar for the offering. So concludes class 18 of the Old Testament.